This is nuts and bolts speed chain with your keyboard shortcuts for using and navigating the selection pane, which is useful when you're dealing with lots of objects on your slide. And here in PowerPoint, in PowerPoint 2010 or later, you can open and close the selection pane by hitting Alt F10 on your keyboard. Alt F10 once, you can see the selection pane pops open and you can see all of the objects on my slide and the groups of objects. If I hit Alt F10 again, the selection pane closes. If you're using PowerPoint 2007, you'll need to come to the Home tab, come to the Arrange tool, and at the bottom of the Arrange tool is the Selection pane. There is no keyboard shortcut in PowerPoint 2007. Now, to use any of your keyboard shortcuts within the Selection pane, the Selection pane needs to be active. So you want to hit F6 once, and you'll rotate over. You can see my mouse cursor there if I hit the up and down arrow keys, active in the Selection pane. Now, a couple of shortcuts that work in all versions of PowerPoint is Shift Enter will select an object in the Selection pane, or Shift Spacebar if you prefer. With an object selected, you can hit Control Shift F to bring that object forward or to bring it up within the layering. Notice if I Control Shift F, my black rectangle all the way to the top, it moves up within the layering. You can also hit Control Shift B to move an object back directly from your keyboard. This is the same as clicking and dragging with your mouse, but again, this is all accomplished from the keyboard. And the way I named this to be black rectangles, I simply clicked in, selected it, and named it so it's easier to find on my slide. In PowerPoint 2010 and later, you can also expand and collapse the groups within the selection pane. Just hit Alt-Shift-1 on your keyboard, will collapse the groups. Alt-Shift-9 on your keyboard will expand them. These can be a little bit sticky, so you need to make sure that you're active within the selection pane. I'm going to again hit Alt-Shift-1 on my keyboard to collapse them. With the groups collapsed, if you navigate up with your arrow keys, you can open a group by hitting the right arrow key, and you can close a group by hitting the left arrow key. So with a group collapse, you can open and close it here on your keyboard. One other shortcut for PowerPoint 2010 and later is the Hide keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-S on your keyboard. We'll hide a group, Control-Shift-S again, we'll bring it back into view, which is the same as clicking the eyeball icons here on the right in the selection pane, but using your keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-S is much faster. So those are your main keyboard shortcuts for working with the selection pane, selecting objects, moving objects, and the like, which is useful when you're working with complicated slides with lots of objects on them. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.